our church, the, the earliest I remember going to church was a little country church, uh, just a little one-room white church house. You've all seen them when driving up and down the road. Um, and, and we went to uh, Sunday school, church, and have a revival meeting a couple times a year. And my family is all buried there. It's, the name of the little church was Palestine Church. When I finished with my chores, we, we ate uh, supper and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I got to go fishing when, uh, when it was too wet to plow. <laughs> Our garden kept us going. We would even we'd call we'd haul water from the, the nearest little spring branch and water the garden. So each person in the family had a certain love and respect for this garden. Oh boy, yeah. You wouldn't let anything or anyone mess with your garden. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody messed with the garden. <laughs> Memories of Grandpa bring us a lot of joy. I was talking with Linda and some friends and telling them about Grandpa and the time that we were out on the lake and it was just he and I and we came across a, a rope and Grandpa said to me, I think that's an anchor. And I asked Grandpa, can I go get it for you? And through a lot of convincing and Talking back and forth, we finally figured out the plan to tie a rope to my belt loop and swim down to the bottom and grab that anchor. Uh, Grandpa kept that anchor for a long time and that story and other stories will be in my heart and in my mind forever. We wanted to let you know that we're thinking about you, Grandma, especially you on this day of remembering Grandpa and celebrating his life and all he meant to us and so many. I will always cherish the stories and memories that we have and what he meant to, to all of us. Uh, without Grandpa, I wouldn't have my wonderful family, Malika, Linda, I wouldn't be where I am today without him. He was such an inspiration and driving force in my life. And I just wanted to thank him for that. We love you all. We miss you. Our hearts and prayers are with you today. Goodbye. Kind of an inside joke, maybe you city guys wouldn't understand it. But uh, mom would, uh, we, the farmers would, would buy fertilizer for their farm. And uh, it would indicate like uh, 484, big bold letters on a sack would indicate uh, the contents was 4% of something, 8% of something else, and 4% of something else. So it would go as a 484. Well, you just can't believe in school, when uh, in the gym, when we would change clothes to, to play, uh, the sizes would indicate the type of fertilizer that you did. Well, that's what the, that's what your underwear is. Four, four, eight, four. <laughs> and everybody's was the same, so there was no shame.